Hey everybody, welcome back to Sonic Sonic the Hedgehog. I mean Sonic Mania the Hedgehog. No, just Sonic Mania. We're playing a new level, as you can see. And I've actually done this level once, but it, the game like crashed on me. Not like crashed, it crashed on me. The audio went out and it was crazy, it's weird. I know this game is optimized for PC, but this is my second time doing this, so I should not play so terribly. Of course, you wouldn't know that because if I shouldn't have said anything, because you wouldn't have even known. But I keep it real with you guys. I keep it real. Shit. I keep it really real. I just loved how much, like, how much better this game is than any other Sonic game I've played by like a wide margin, even the original ones. Because we're so, we're so used to just like bad Sonic games that like. It's so surprising that we actually have a good Sonic game. I remember there was a, um... Like, when a game that came out on consoles, because it came out on PC, like, a week or two later. And, um... It already had all these, like, quote-unquote awards. Like, number one played game on Xbox Live, or... You know, number 12th most downloaded PSN game. And I'm just like... You know you've had a bad history when you're trying to just claim onto any accolade you can get. Like, you know, with me, like, those movies that get, like, reviews, like, I saw this in theaters, or there's actors in this movie, like, just any sort of, like, generic claim to make it seem like it better than it is. But this game's actually pretty good. It's better than anything Sega's produced, to tell you that much. Which is why I'm not looking forward to Sonic Forces. I'm probably never gonna play that. Like, I already played enough bad games for my steaming pile, I don't think I can play a Sonic game. Especially a 3D Sonic game, because that's just... Like, you know it's not going to be good. Because like I said before, and I'll keep saying... The, um... Sega does... Sonic does not translate what a 3D. He just, he just doesn't. For the way the character's built, he does not translate what a 3D. Or at the very least, Sega has no idea how to translate him to 3D. Him in 2D? He's in his element. And in 3D, it's like, mmm. Oh my god, can I get- No! I'm greedy. Whatever. Yeah, but him in three dimensions, I'm just like, no. Sega, you can't do it. What the shit? Am I standing on- Oh, okay, I was. Yeah, I just don't like 3D Sonic games. I don't think you could honestly tell me an actual, like, like, throughout the whole game, good 3D Sonic game. Because people would say, oh, we know bits of Sonic Colors and bits of uh, uh, Sonic Unleashed when he's not the Werehog is, is really good. But I'm like, you can't say this game's really good when it's not half the game. <laughs> like, I say this movie's really good, especially when it ends. That's the best part. Like, no, like, that's... That is a cut for me. You need a good overall Sonic game, and you won't get that in the 3D games. Unless you like him um, making out with human princesses. Can we talk about that for a second? I hope everyone who worked on that... Not everyone who worked on that. I hope I hope the director of Sonic 06 got fired, because why would that ever be okay? Like, what was the Sonic's room like? What was, what was the war room strategy when they were walking in clocking in for the day like you know what we need to do with Sonic to put him to uh, introduce him to 2006 revamp him so I'm start making that with human characters yes I know no human characters really ever existed in any Sonic game or any way shape or form but let's just throw him in there have this weird like romance element coming through here for some reason because Sonic games need romance like I think Sega tried really hard to be Mario and it just did not work what are you doing what are you doing? You're not gonna reach me from there. You do know the definition of insanity, right? Even Song's getting bored here. Oh! Oh! Okay. Is that your face? Or is that like... Not your face. Shut up. My commentary's on point, what are you talking about? I love how 90s the music is, though. Like, it's so... 
It's like it's, even the music. The music is so Sonic the Hedgehog. And now it sounds stupid, but like it's not some weird like J Rock thing going on. You know what I mean? Not to say J music is bad or anything, or J Rap music is bad, but I did like City Escape. But come on, we don't need we don't need songs with words in Sonic games. All I need is some some cool MIDI music and some uh, some synth going. Huh. One more time. I love this animation right here. Like he jumps in the air with his finger pointing. He's like I did it. How many? How many did I do like an extra man over here? I also love how seamless the transitions are. Like there's no like loading screen basically. Like once you level starts to level. Oh. What the hell? Oh, that hurt me. Huh? Can I get it back up there? Okay. Oh. Let me get the this thing. That's gonna keep happening. There we go. Wait, no! Wait, how did I make that jump I can do before? Oof. That was very close. I forgot I could bounce. How did I get that? I can't even spin the jacket? Just gotta my way through life. Oh shit, whichever. Oh, Jesus. Uh oh. There's just so many ways to, to like travel. Oh shit. Jump. There's so many ways to travel in this game. Like. Even when you think you messed up, you have another path to go through. I think that's super cool, too. The added verticality to this game makes it way bigger than you think it is. Almost like there's like multiple paths to take. Like, that has the replay value. You couldn't say in the Sonic game before, there was no replay value in Sonic game besides those, you know, forced time trials or whatever. I'm just super, I'm super impressed by this game. Because it's not doing anything cool. Oh, what was that? Why do you trees have bombs? What ecosystem is this? Who's who? What predator is so dangerous in this game? Oh, wait a minute. It's so dangerous in the game where you need to have bomb plants. I lost my train of thought because I was, got bombed. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, I'm gonna make a pun. Maybe I did. I don't know. Maybe some contest I want to make a pun. That was cool. What are we talking about? Oh, how good this game is. This game's good, you guys. I don't know if I told you guys before. It's game's gonna be good. Oh, let's just blow through this. Oof, careful. Uh, wait, I was just here. Did I go the wrong way? It's like I don't, I don't learn my lesson, and then that happens. How about higher? No, 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 no. Up. Can I just jump up here? Yeah, I'm gonna go up here. But this is the one before, right? Oh, I can break out of it. Oh, I just want to go up this way. Alright, and I can't do anything here. Did I get stuck? I was just talking about how you have multiple paths to take. And here I am stuck, like an idiot. Wait, 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 maybe if I... Oh, okay. 
Ah, that's so cool. I thought I missed something over there, but I guess not. Like, that's what I'm talking about. The, the game just does so many cool things. Like, so many cool ideas. Oh, whoa. Hey, whoa. Ooh, geez. I mean, I meant to do that. I, I'm always in control. I've always known where I'm doing this game. This is definitely one of those games that make you look good, no matter what you do. Fucking... Stupid... Dramatic irony. You know what, you little cuckoo bird? Damn it! Oh my god. You, I'm gonna kill you. Oh, I can't kill you. You're so lucky. I would definitely have killed you. Shit. Maybe I can make it still? You know what this reminds me of actually? It reminds me of two games. It reminds me of like a Mega Man level. And also, oh, what? It reminds me. It's a rude interrupted. Of a Mega Man level. And also, uh. Wait. Also, um. Lion King. You know, the second level Lion King. Can't wait to be king. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, I jump on the giraffes and the monkeys, the ostrich. Oh, don't don't tell me you never played Lion King for the Sega Genesis. What the hell? Oh, hey, Ninja Man. I like the music. Oh, you turned me into ice. Okay, so if I get close to him, turns. I guess when he jumps, what well, just exploded? Oh, okay. So when he jumps, that's when I. That's when I attack. Got it, got it, got it. It's like, damn it! Okay. You Naruto wannabe. Damn it! I can't even see him. There we go. And then BAM! I love how the attacks don't hurt him. No! I need the ring! Oh, jeez. These bosses are so cool, but they're like, they're way harder than typical Sonic bosses. But I think his ice protects me. I mean, the ice does, not his bombs. Yeah, that's dope. I can use his own, see, I can use his power against that. That's like, I feel like it's kind of like a Mega man type thing here. Oh, you lost. You're dead. I thought it would come from the sky. Yeah! Oh, you were just there the whole time? Oh, shoot, is that the death egg? Okay, so this one here, the Chaos Emeralds do all that. Did I miss a game or two? What is this? Stardust Speedway. All right. Well, we'll do this one next video. I'll see you guys later. If you guys enjoy the content, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.